In today's video, I'm sharing 10 frumpy fashion mistakes to avoid because they're making you look older. Hi, I'm Leone and welcome back to my channel. I was recently inspired by a video that I saw over on Erin from Busby Styles YouTube channel and she created a video, I think it was three frumpy fashion mistakes that are making us look older. And while I was watching that video, I kept thinking about so many frumpy mistakes that I know that a lot of us make. So I thought that I would, inspired by Erin, create a similar video featuring some of the frumpy fashion mistakes that I think a lot of us make, but we don't have to. So if you'd like to find out what my 10 frumpy fashion mistakes are, then just keep watching. One of the biggest fashion mistakes that a lot of us still seem to make, and it is so aging, is choosing pants that actually fall mid-calf. This, in my opinion, has to be the most unflattering cut of all. The reason being is that the middle of our calf is generally the widest part of our lower leg. So there is no reason we'd wanna highlight that wide part of our leg. It's just not flattering. And it's just a look that I think we need to avoid at all cost. So if you are wearing pants that cut you at mid-calf, maybe it's time to reconsider. But if you are wearing them, please let me know in the comments below and tell me what you like about them. But in my opinion, they're a no-no. I'd also like to thank Nordgreen for sponsoring today's video. I've worked with Nordgreen before. They're a Danish watch company that create the most beautiful minimalist watches. They're amazing quality, which is what I really love, and they're also affordable too. Nordgreen have also shared a discount code with me today to pass on to you guys. Now that code is just STYLE and it will save you 15% off your next Nordgreen watch. The other great thing about these watches is that you can swap out the bands really easily. All you have to do is slide this little bar and clip the watch band out and just clip another one in. It's that simple so you can quickly and easily change the look of your watch. I also love Nordgreen because they are a company that is committed to, to giving back and trying to make the world a better place. So with every Nordgreen watch that is sold, they will donate to three different charities and you get to choose which charity you would like to make the donation to. So it's a really great win-win situation because Nordgreen is a company that has a social conscience and for me, that is something that is really important. The next frumpy fashion mistake is wearing out of date trends. I think if you're wearing trends that are a few seasons old, it just makes you look old and out of touch which is one of the reasons that I think it's really important not to invest a whole lot of money on really trend-focused pieces because they're so obvious, they don't stand the test of time and you just don't get that value for money out of them. And it does run the risk of making you look, as I said, out of touch, out of date, which will always make you look older. Floral prints are also quite tricky to wear as you get older because some florals are just aging and a little old fashioned. And it's quite tricky to differentiate between the old fashioned florals and the cool modern florals. So for this reason, I tend to suggest steering clear of florals if you don't want to run the risk of looking frumpy and older than you are. The only exception to this at the moment is wearing a small print floral floaty dress. But I think as you're, as you're aging, you probably need to just style it with a pair of trainers to just pull it back and give it a little bit of a slightly younger, more modern feel. But I do think that certain florals are really tricky to get right, so if you're not sure, you're best to avoid them altogether. I also think that being too matchy-matchy can age you. Now, I'm not sure about you guys, but I definitely grew up believing that our handbag should match our shoes and we should match our earrings to our necklaces and everything that is a little bit too matchy-matchy does tend to run the risk of looking a little bit old-fashioned and a little bit outdated. So what I tend to suggest is breaking things up a little bit and not matching our shoes to our handbag. Maybe make our shoes a little bit more of a fun statement, 
break up our sets of earrings and necklaces, mix the metals a little bit, just make sure that everything isn't too perfectly matched because that is definitely quite aging. Okay, this next one is going to be a little contentious and I'd love to know in the comments what you guys think about this, but my next frumpy fashion no-no is wearing nude stockings. Now, I think what tends to happen is that we perhaps don't want to show so much skin or we want to have a little bit of coverage on our legs, so we opt for a nude stocking. Unfortunately, it does make us look older than we actually are. I think really young girls can get away with this, but as you age, I just don't think it looks modern and fresh. What I always do is opt for a self tanner just to give myself a little bit of a tan, a little bit of color on my legs and to hide some uneven skin tone. But I think that that is definitely a more useful way of dressing as opposed to wearing nude hosiery, stockings, pantyhose. I do think that it is frumpy. But I'd love to know what you guys think. Do you think nude stockings are frumpy or are you all over them and love wearing them? Please let me know in the comments below. There's a real temptation as we get older to cover up our necks and I, I get that. The skin on our neck does tend to age quite fast. But covering up our necks with skivvies and turtlenecks is actually more aging than we realize. It's far more flattering just to show a little bit of skin and not try and cover up our necks. No one's actually looking and your outfit will look far more useful if you just show a little bit of skin. For some reason, a lot of women tend to think the older we get, the less appropriate it is to wear denim. But in my opinion, I think the opposite is actually true. Denim is the one fashion item that can actually make you look younger. I know there's that fear of looking like your teenage daughter or looking too young, but I think if you choose wisely, a high-waisted pair of denim jeans in a slightly darker cut will really add a, an element to your wardrobe that will help you create a whole lot more outfits without you looking like you're trying to be too young. So don't underestimate the power of denim, even a denim jacket. You're never too old to incorporate a denim jacket into your wardrobe. Denim is timeless and it's useful. Another fashion mistake that I think looks quite frumpy is wearing too much costume jewelry. Now I know why women tend to do this. As we age, we perhaps think that wearing a statement necklace will hide our perhaps aging decolletage or if we opt for some big bold earrings, it will detract the eye and move the attention away from our neck perhaps. But this just tends to be too much and I think we take it too far. And also it's, it's not modern, it's not sleek and chic and sophisticated. So I think while there is that temptation to go big and bold with costume jewelry, I really do think that as we get older, we need to avoid that. I think it's really fun to add character to outfits and include costume jewelry pieces, but just make sure that they are not too over the top and take over an outfit. Another thing that I see is so much back combing and big poofy hair. Now, I do probably the opposite, which I'm sure it's probably a little aging as well. I'm quite lazy with my hair and I just slick it all back. It's what I've always done, which isn't ideal, I know. But I think the, the opposite of this is so much back combing, so much volume, and that immediately ages you and runs the risk of looking frumpy. So back comb and give your hair some volume because we all tend to lose that volume as we age, but just don't go crazy with it. Another mistake that I think is making us look frumpy and older is never wearing short sleeves. Now I know that there is that temptation if we're not feeling so good about our arms, maybe we're carrying a bit more weight or our skin's a little bit uneven. We tend to want to cover up, but when you're the only one in the room on a hot summer's day that is wearing long sleeves, you're going to stand out. I think the key is to just remember that no one is looking at your arms and not to worry about it. Enjoy wearing short sleeves 
you are never too old to wear short sleeves and as I said earlier if you are concerned which is for me that's my the skin on my arms is not looking as good as it did 20 years ago so self tanner is my friend but don't cover up those arms it is a waste anyway that's it from me today I hope you enjoyed this video if you did I would love you to give it a big thumbs up please subscribe to my channel it means the world to me and I will catch you in the next one bye for now